Take some water in a petri dish. Note its temperature. Put it in the fridge for a few hours. Now the water changes into solid ice. Note the change in its temperature. Water molecules take definite shape. Thus, we can say that liquid changes into solid. In liquid state, water molecules in water move and take the shape of the beaker. On heating, the water molecules absorb energy and transfer it to the adjacent molecules. In this way, they get more energy which is just sufficient to leave the surface of liquid. During the process, the liquid state of water transform into the gaseous state. This gaseous state of water is called water vapor. Sometimes, certain solid substances directly convert into vapor state without melting. It is called sublimation. Take 10 naphthalene balls and add in a watch glass. Put the watch glass over the wire gauge on tripod stand and cover it with an inverted funnel. On heating, naphthalene balls are converted into vapors, which is deposited in form of solid inside the funnel wall. Thus, we can conclude that solid is converted into gas and vice versa. In a chemical change, a new substance or substances are formed. The properties of the substance change and this change is permanent in nature. The original substance cannot be obtained. It is illustrated by this activity. Take a test tube. Fill it with water and immerse an iron nail in it and cover it the mouth of the test tube with rubber cork. Keep it for a few days. The shining of nail disappears and it is covered with a brown surface. Iron is converted into hydrated iron oxide. Burning of magnesium is a chemical change which can be shown by this activity. Take a piece of magnesium wire and hold it with a tongue over flame. The magnesium burns and leaves white ash. Collect it in a watch glass. The property of magnesium is different from that of magnesium oxide. Another example of chemical change is ripening of fruits. The green color of raw mangoes changes into yellow due to chemical changes.